If you're already creating YouTube content, blog content, maybe social media content, you might be thinking, I don't have time to do anything extra. And the good thing about Patreon is basically the less polished the stuff is that you give people, the happier they are. It might sound really, really strange, but at the time I'm filming this, my cat husband is behind you and he's trying to jump on the worktop. So there's loads of outtakes from this video of me saying, Hudson, get down. And that's exactly the type of thing that I will put into a compilation called Hudson being annoying while I'm filming YouTube videos and I will share that with my Patreons. So you're really not creating extra content, you're just kind of using the bits that you would have otherwise thrown away. I would suggest not making specific YouTube videos, not writing specific blog posts. You won't get the return because you've only got a couple of people in Patreon, but just show them the things that you don't show everybody else. The whole reason that people are in Patreon is because they want something above and beyond what you give on the internet. I don't think my Patreons would really like it if I gave them a properly edited YouTube video. I think I would get replies that said, why are you putting this here? You've put all this time into this, put this on YouTube. What they want to see is me lounging around here, maybe in a onesie with a cup of tea, just chilling out with my phone, filming things, saying, oh, my camera broke today, I've got to get the train tomorrow, I don't know what to do. Behind the scenes stuff that's not good enough for YouTube is exactly what you want on Patreon. When I make YouTube videos, I spend a lot of time cutting things out of my YouTube videos. The original cut of a video versus what goes on the internet is probably about 50% extra. What you can do is you can give your YouTube subscribers the extended cut and sometimes they really like that. I cut out things if I feel like they're being a bit slow, people are going to drop off of the YouTube video, but the people who are watching your Patreon want to watch your video. So they will watch all of it and they will really enjoy seeing things that not everybody else has seen. You could also take something that you're already doing and change it into something else. I do know a lot of people on Patreon who have a public podcast and what they will do is they will have a video recording of the podcast within Patreon. So they're not really doing anything extra. It's not taking them all that much extra time, but the Patreons feel as though they really have got something extra and that they're there with that person. Patreons want to be with you on the journey. And I think it's important that you don't just share good things. I think the Patreons really like to see the bad things that happen too. They like to know that you're a real person and you have struggles and you're worrying about things. It's okay. You don't have to be the kind of personality that you are on YouTube where everything is edited and perfect. It's completely the opposite, which is really nice. Another way that you can create Patreon content without really making more work is to share things like your notes. If I have an idea about a YouTube video, I might just talk about it on the podcast, which really helps me to get my ideas together. I might share a picture of my YouTube notes before I do a YouTube video. You might think, who wants to watch that? But when it's a secret, people really like to see that kind of thing. If you're feeling brave, you could give your Patreons the complete unedited version of videos. I mess up my YouTube videos way too much to do that, but believe it or not, some people do like to see the awkward bits when you do mess up, when you do sit there, when you do pause to have a drink. People do like that, and that's really no more effort. That's, if anything, less effort. An example of something that I've just done while making this video is I have taken a photo of That's My Cat Hudson trying to jump on the worktop while I'm filming this video. I will share that into Patreon and say today I've been filming a course, my cat Hudson was very annoying and trying to jump on the worktop the entire time. Then the people in Patreon will probably come on my next live stream, they might leave comments on my YouTube videos that say where is Hudson, is he on the worktop? Things like that. People just like to be in on the joke. I know it feels overwhelming to take on something else where you feel like you have to do extra things, but I've really enjoyed Patreon and I think it is nice to be able to share things that aren't always perfect and ready for the internet. People appreciate it, you get to know them really well, and it's pretty easy for me. The money I make versus the time I put into Patreon, I know of course I've put the time into the YouTube videos and the research and the blog posts and all this work beforehand, but on a weekly basis, it probably only is two or three hours per week that I specifically spend in Patreon. You're already doing 99% of the work by creating a YouTube video, just taking a picture behind the scenes. Nothing to lose, I don't think. Okay, so now you have everything ready to offer your Patreons, you're going to need to find some Patreons, and that's what we're going to talk about in the next video.